There's a book that was written by these two white gentlemen called Without Sanctuary. If you ever get a chance to read it, it is one of the most profoundly disturbing books I've ever seen in my life. It's a, it's a pictorial history of lynchings and what they used to call nigger barbecues. I'm talking about children, women, male adults, lynched. And then they used to put us alive on spits with a fire beneath it and turn us and roast us until we dehydrated. And they'd pick up pieces of the bodies and hundreds of whites would be standing and taking pictures with a body piece in their hand. They have the pictures, they show the pictures in the book. And they say, just get over that? You don't get over that. You have to move on. You have to live your life, you have to grow, you have to accomplish. You cannot use excuses. But that is in spite of your history. Get over it. feels like a really ignorant aha moment and steeped in my white privilege aha they don't want CRT taught in the schools because when the pictures start to become more public of the white grown adults screaming at children being integrated into schools Little Rock Nine Ruby Bridges etc they're gonna recognize their family members they're gonna see grandma in the photos, throwing rocks at a six-year-old. They're going to see their family members. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakaq Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Shadow warm to the elect. Shadow ban, shadow ban for the... Uh, Viewers outside of this truth who ask why I don't focus my efforts on YouTube, the short answer is I have I have videos dating back uh, some eight or nine years on YouTube. A whole series I did on Cristobal Cologne, the Ten Tribes in the Renaissance era I had uploaded, which I still have in my possession. Some of it I go into up until this day, but I have never re-uploaded because I realized a long time ago, before it had a name, I was being shadow banned, shadow banned. Uh, the truth is I upload all my videos onto YouTube as well as Odyssey, but there's the other point to be made, which is I don't mind fishing where the fishes aren't. If you follow the ministry, then you already know uh, of GMS's reach on YouTube, thousands of videos going out daily, all according to the will of the Heavenly Father through the power of the uh, Rokaku Dash. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and, and 9 comes to mind and says this. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the power of Yahweh, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, meaning those of Israel are mentally dead, lost to the true identity and the nature of themselves. The breath is the knowledge and the understanding that they may live. Uh, ergo, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is in complete control here. It doesn't matter if I whisper it into a corner or stand in the middle of Times Square with a megaphone. The Lord's word must go out. Uh, the Most High says in Isaiah, the 55th chapter, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Uh, matter of fact, let's, let's uh, get it so I don't butcher it here. Isaiah 55 and 11. That's it. 
Uh, and it reads, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Why? Because it is the words of the Lord. His name is Yahweh, meaning he is, he exists, he will be. Therefore, his name stands behind his word so that whatever he speaks, it must come to pass. All that being said, I think it's a, a perfect segue into the premise of this video and speaks to the opening clip, the uh, idea of Esau and his history of hiding the truth. Uh, iconoclasm, the dark images of the saints painted before beginning in during the Renaissance period that were removed with the rise of the Borgia family. Uh, Thomas Cromwell, who destroyed most of the evidence that so-called blacks ruled Britain, uh, the severe beating we would Beatings with the nets we would receive if we were caught reading, period. But the capital punishment that would be doled out if we as slaves were caught reading the Bible. Uh, the slave Bible where actual chapters and verses of the scriptures were removed. Uh, scripture that pointed to who the true Israelites really are. Uh, highly effective in the concealing the uh, of the truth and removing from remembrance who we truly are as a people. The uh, book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, starting from the first verse, says this. Uh, keep not thou silence, Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, Heavenly Father. Uh, keep not thou silence. Uh, through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, the truth is coming out. But think about all the covert measures the elite have taken to conceal. Uh, we are not privy to. Uh, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Now in the Hebrew, the word there is hama, meaning to uh, murmur, growl, roar, cry aloud, rage. Make noise, be disquieted, be loud, be moved, be troubled, be in an uproar, mourn. Why all the noise? Because they see their rulership. Esau Edom does see that his rulership over the earth, specifically we Israelites crumbling, and they know that they are about to lose all their power. That growl you're hearing is subject to the new world order Esau is trying to bring into fruition. Uh, they that hate thee, have lifted up the head. That lifting up the head means they have began their assault against we Hebrew Israelites. The hate is a product of the perpetual hatred Esau has long had for us pursuant to Ezekiel the 35th uh, chapter. Psalm 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Uh, crafty counsel speaks to the conspiracy the uh, collective of nations have against the uh, the nation of Israel. Again, they've removed our relics, painted their own likeness in our holy documents. First Maccabees 3 and, and 48, Job 9 and, and 24. Uh, they refused to teach us to read from the books in which they translated our history. Then assuming our lineage and heritage as their own. It wasn't that we were stupid and didn't know how to read. We just didn't know the mutt language of English, nor were we familiar with the English tongue. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 49 is the precept there. Uh, to reiterate, when we were in the ch in chains, uh, today any of us who are employees are still slaves, and not to mention a lot of us are still captives of mental slavery. But when we were handcuffed, uh, shackled, and yoked, we were prohibited from reading. When we were finally brought up to speed, the punishment was corporal, um, and for reading the Bible, the, the penalty was death. A good example is the uh, the movie, The Birth of a Nation. This is the same thing that happened when, or with uh, Nat Turner. He discovered we were those people of the book and then all, all hell broke loose. Uh, but this time it will be Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai who will deliver from our uh, predicament. Isaiah 25 and 7 also speaks to the measures Esau has taken and the covering he's casted over Israel and the, the, the world, period. Uh, today, for the most part, we are only known by by words and political designations he set up and, and social constructs like white and black, uh, Negro being called Spanish, which Spanglish is a language, not a people, uh, being called Indian, West Indian, which the only thing that separates the two is when we came into contact with uh, Christopher Colombo and where we got dropped off by the boats. Uh, today, we are nothing more than niggers and spicks, beaners, and chiefs and, and Eskimos. Uh, Psalm 71 and, and 10. For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, Yahweh hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver them. So because Yahweh had allowed us to be broken and spoiled as a nation, 
because of our uh, disobedience. Esau was under the impression that Yahweh had forsaken us forever. And so you have Esau trying to remove us from the memory of our prominence as well. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Ergo, and really in turn, because the, the Lord only deals with balance. Proverbs 11 and, and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. We have been hidden by the Heavenly Father this long also. So it's not only Esau here doing the hiding of who we are and hiding himself. We were also hidden only to preserve us in these end times. Uh, Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, the hosts are, are the Heavenly Father's celestial army. After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, those who have uh, taken up crafty counsel and conspired to conceal us, which spoiled you, for he that touches you touches what? The apple of his eye. The apple of Yahweh's eye is we, we, uh, we Israelites, Yasharala, we princes of power, we Hebrew Israelites. Those that spoiled us is the other nations. At the forefront is Esau, Edom, through slavery and the subjugation of our land that he has uh, gone on to pollute with his abominable acts and, and his mere presence. He's corrupted our minds and bodies in the same way through uh, drugs, through his programming with media, through his sensationalizing of violence, through the raping, robbing, and pillaging of our resources, the uh, stealing of our wealth and, and identity, and the sowing of illusion of we of being afforded rights that really don't exist, like civil liberties, uh, freedom, and the, the rights to choose anything. Uh, keep me as the apple of the eye. Uh, hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass me about. Uh, Psalm 17 and 8, where you can uh, find that, that precept. Uh, Psalm, let's go to Psalm 83, back to Psalm 83. Uh, we'll pick it up at 4. And it says this, they have said, the they being the other nations, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Uh, ergo, those other nations, again, starting with Esau, made a collective agreement and consolidated their efforts to destroy we Israelites and remove us from our true heritage. This conspiracy against the children of Zion is why all other nations who are not Israelites, keep in mind Israel has been spread across the other nations so on the earth. So this necessarily is not subject to phenotype or skin color. All the other nations who have conspired against we Israelites are going into captivity for adjoining themselves to the so-called uh, white man today. Again, not all so-called whites are Edomites and not all so-called blacks are of the nation of Israel. Psalm 83, 6 through 9 speaks to the nations who were unified in our subjection, uh, the removing from remembrance and concealing of our identity. Uh, now that the truth is out, it's no coincidence Esau continues to exhibit his gift of deception, 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 striking our videos, canceling our accounts, the hiding of live streams, not to mention the hiding of views and likes, which is another reason I opted out of YouTube. Not so much the views and the thumbs up, but the notifications being sent out, which they also have mastered the art of hiding. Uh, just the other day, I came to realize by accident that most of the platforms who claim they are uncensored and are, they are really being forced to get in on the act as well. I literally saw numbers disappearing before my, my own eyes. Now I know the, uh, the opening clip itself speaks more to the atrocities we've faced under the hand of the overseer. For those not to know that that is the uh, actor Bill Duke who I uh, remember from the movie Commando back in the 80s, alongside the, uh, the Terminator himself, Governor Schwarzenegger. Uh, Bill Duke goes as far back as the ABC uh, after school specials. You'll probably know him from his famous line in Menace to Society, now you know you done. And uh, we'll keep this one PG-13. But in any event, it was the, um, the headline of the opening clip that really caught my eye. And at the end of the clip with the reason given by the young lady as to why they don't want CRT, critical race theory, being taught in the schools. Because not only does it prove the theory is not a theory, it's a fact. But those same damn demons responsible for the afflictions and the atrocities committed against Israel, who are probably hiding in the shadows now, 
and on the front lines uh, singing uh, Kumbaya, their rendition of, of Get Over It. Uh, it was so long ago. As we speak, are still alive and kicking today. Uh, let's get a couple more scripts and close out. Uh, Proverbs, let's go to Proverbs 11 and 21, and it says this. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Uh, no matter what initiative Esau spearheads, no matter the coalition or call for unity and solidarity, no matter which talking head or well-recognized face makes the desperate call to end all inequality and injustice, Esau is still going to be punished for his wicked acts and deeds and, and his unrighteous dealings, especially the hand he's dealt towards Israel. We Hebrew Israelites, we sons and daughters of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are the seed of the righteous, starting with the elect, the uh, chosen of the chosen people of Israel. Uh, Sirach 41 and 7 is another good, uh, good precept. Uh, the children, uh, whose children uh, Esau's, will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. And that's what you see happening now. If it's not the go-to defense when the average so-called whites as well as the elitists are questioned concerning their position on slavery. They're quick to point out as reprehensible as, as slavery and the things that happened during the trading of we Israelites were, that wasn't me. That was my father's 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 father. I never owned a slave. I love black people. My my sister's husband is black. As if they themselves haven't been afforded the privileges and continue to live deliciously off of it today. Uh, you are your father's 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 father returned. Matter of fact, the people of yesterday are here today committing the same wicked acts in your face or behind the scenes. Unfortunately for you and your, uh, your newfound conscience, all of Esau and the other nations who stood confederate must answer for the past deeds they are now vehemently trying to escape against Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai and we Israelites. Now, uh, listen to this excerpt I found regarding one of the postcards featured in the book Without uh, Sanctuary that Bill Duke had mentioned because it lends to the reasoning of why they hide and, and then we'll close out with a couple more verses. And it says this, and, I, and I'll be adding some of the pictures, including uh, the one that this this excerpt speaks to in post. Uh, it's, it, and it reads, This card was purchased at a garage sale in uh, Macon, Missouri. The seller related what he knew of the postcard's history and assured that it was a photograph of a lynching that took place in Missouri. Uh, researchers confirm the symbolic importance of lynching sites and the conscious selection of these sites by perpetrators of extra-legal violence. Is that what they're calling it? Uh, the dominance of Christian symbology is resurrected in the lynchers preference for bodies of water uh, bridges and landmark trees bodies of water are the traditional locations for baptisms bridges symbolize the most profound rite of passage the great crossing over to death and trees are the very symbol of life and of and for all intent and purposes here we're going to use uh we're going to read verbatim christ's crucifixion the lynchers sought in the conscious uh, selection of these sacrificial sites and in their participation in these ritualized murders their own salvation and passage to a safer place without sin and evil both of which in their minds were physically embodied in the offending uh, that means us niggers and uh, us latinos us spicks us natives uh, swinging from the from a noose victim both of which in their minds were physically embodied in the offending quote-unquote victim. Again, uh, keeping in mind, really, these people, these perpetrators and conspirators of violence against the Lord's people are their forefathers returned. And although these sacrifices in their mind were based on what they claim to be a symbol of their own salvation, it really is about their wickedness against the Lord's people being validated and justified. Uh, the Lord says in, in, in Proverbs 17 and, and 15, he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to Yahweh. And in uh, Psalm 34 and 21, he says, evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Desolate meaning found guilty of their actions, destroyed and made bare. Made bare meaning to, uh, to be exposed. And that's exactly what is, is taking place here. Uh, we know the source 
of their violence is innate, meaning in their nature. Genesis, the 25th chapter, it tells us that Esau's gift was deception, but his blessing was a sword. And so they are doing what they've been doing since time immemorial, exactly what the enemies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai were set up to do. Again, in the book of Psalms and in Ezekiel, the uh, 21st chapter, I believe it's Ezekiel 21 and 9. The scriptures tell us it is Esau who is the Lord's sword, set up to correct we Israelites who felt disobedient and to recompense them for their unrighteous acts. Uh, Arise, O Yahweh, dis disappoint him, cast him down, and deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And that's Psalms uh, 17 and 13. Uh, Malachi 1 and 4 tells us the wicked is a nation of people. Esau, Edom is that nation of people. Psalm 17 and 14, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, meaning in the next life, meaning the, uh, the next rulership, which belongs to the children of Jacob. Jacob returned being we Israelites, uh, second Ezra six and nine, uh, Esau, Edom is screwed and, uh, whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Uh, speaking to their privilege, living deliciously from our oppression and the wealth they've gained from our oppression being passed on from generation to generation. You know it as generational wealth. But ultimately, they themselves will fall victim to their own judgment. Uh, Revelation 1 and 7, one of my favorite scripts. Um, and it says this, Behold, he cometh with clouds, the he being Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Christ in Jesus, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, Amen. Uh, Yahweh Shai will not be hidden upon his return. He will return in the clouds, meaning the chariots or the, the Lord's ships, what Esau classifies as UFOs and UAPs and uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. And every eye shall see him, which proves what I've been saying about being returned through your generations. This verse proves uh, reincarnation, your being your father's father, father returned. All over the world, all will witness the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because they will blanket the sky. And there, there ain't a smartphone or a corporate news station that would dare miss it. Uh, that's um, uh, the book of Acts, I believe the, the precept is there. I think it's Acts 2 and 19 through uh, 20. Wail meaning immense distress and the balance to that being a tremendous showing of joy. The distress speaks to the pulling out of here because no one is expecting to see a so-called man of color cracking the skies to deliver the world's most demonized and overly scrutinized people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. Uh, let's close with this. Really no breakdown needed. Uh, this is the book of John, the 15th chapter, verse 18. And it, and it says this. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake because they know not him that sent me. Sent to who? We hidden ones. We, we elect men of Israel. We elect children of Israel. We lost, now found, sheep of Israel. Call Halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai uh, Bashem Rakakwadash through the power and spirit. I hope you were edified. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well and teach us 100% truth. Salutations to you camp brothers, especially you uh, Israelites here in Toronto, putting your lives on the line to this day, they still trying to keep us hidden. Remember, no test, no yab, and damn sure. Don't take the seed to the. Shalom, Yasharala. Shalom to the elect. <laughs>